Hello everyone, this is Handy Options with Murray. Like I promised last week, we will continue with our chicken and peas curry. We dealt with half of that in the last week, and this week we'll be dealing with the concluding part. Come with me, I know you will love this. You can see the meat stock is beginning to boil. So the next thing that goes in is our Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. I'll just eyeball it and that's about a tablespoon. I'll stir and the next thing that goes in is the peas. The peas goes directly into the stock because they take longer to cook. I always put them in first. So I'm going to cover it and I'll give it some minutes to cook. Then I'll start adding the other vegetables. So as you can see, I just poured in the coconut oil in a saucepan. So the next thing that goes in will be the anise, the ground anise or ground fennel. They are very closely related in taste. A little curry powder and some garlic. So this all goes in at once. I'll be stirring. You don't want the heat to be too high. I'm doing this under moderate heat. As soon as you begin to perceive the smell of the garlic, then it's time to turn down the heat or to turn it off completely because you don't want it to get burnt. So right now I'll be adding this to the pot where I have the peas. The peas has been cooking for about three to four minutes now. I'll still give it time to cook through. Then I'll add the other ingredients. So after about three minutes of further cooking the peas, this is what it looks like now. I'll be adding the other ingredients now. The next thing that goes in are your carrots. This curry is so healthy because it's loaded with so many vegetables and that means vitamins, that means fiber. That keeps you healthy through this um, festive season. And I just hope you give it a go because it's really nice. Then of course our red bell peppers goes in at the same time too. Mister. The last thing that will be going in will be the green peppers and a little bit of garlic. I always reserve a little bit of garlic at the tail end of my cooking because it's, it adds a richness to the meal. So I will cover this, bring it to the bowl. This will cook for just about a minute or so. So I'll allow the carrots soften a little and I'll be adding the green peppers and the garlic. So I'm going to be covering this now. So after about a minute of cooking, this is what it looks like. I'll be adding the green peppers now as well as the garlic. So the green pepper is going and the last thing that I'll be going in now is the garlic. This will take just a few seconds to cook and I'll be bringing down the curry. So the garlic goes into So I will show you how I plate. I'll give this just a few seconds to cook through then I will show you how I serve. So this is how I serve my peas and chicken curry. I serve it with some basmati rice this is a very delicious and highly nutritious meal. Give yourself a treat this festive season. Let it not be all about the junk. Let the food that you eat matter as well. Treat yourself to something nice, something your body will thank you for. I hope you give this recipe a try and let us know what your take is on it. Thank you.